You ever been to the store for a few of your favorite items and you find they've been moved? Well, stores do like to rearrange to improve sales, but are they doing it smartly? A new study out of Washington State University helps retailers understand the best ways to get the items you may want to purchase right in front of you. Here's Tim Gordon. We've all been there. You go into your favorite store for a few things and they're not where they used to be. And as consumers, that kind of bugs us the first time or two it happens. WSU so professor Chuck Munson to... says that experience for a PhD student of his got them both studying product placement in a new way. This is all data driven. Look at sales data, you know, thousands of transactions and items and which products tend to be purchased together. The idea was to dive deep into the purchases to figure out how the online shopping model to increase sales translates to brick and mortar stores. Because nowadays when we go on Amazon, for example, uh, you'll buy something and at the bottom of the screen it says people who bought this also bought that. Uh, and that's exactly what we're trying to capture here. This study is for businesses to figure out how to most efficiently get products you may want in front of you. And it recognizes the reality of impulse shopping. Studies show only 21% of us make a list before we shop and more than half of supermarket purchases are impulse buys. So, so if you walk down that aisle that used to contain cereal and it doesn't anymore, can you put something in that aisle that those who buy cereal might also like to buy. The answer is yes, and the data can help your local grocery store know what to do to buoy sales as they compete with online shopping. And as shoppers, if we're going to be impulse buying anyway. Some would argue it's helping the shopping become more uh, efficient because we're getting items in front of the right customers that they might want to purchase. Of course, as consumers, knowing this may help us think about making a list and setting a budget. Tim Gordon, KGW News.